this way. Okay. Now, how do I see the Gary Gold logo? waiting for some people to join. Okay, there they are. Okay, great. Okay, so this is moving a little bit more slower, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, just let me just keep saying hi, everyone, ask me a question. <laughs> What's up, my buggy? Look at him. All right, what do we got? We got, I don't see, I love you too. <laughs> I don't see any question. Well, uh, hi, in Peru. Mm. I'm making up for last time, which honestly, I don't see any questions yet. So there's no, this is Yuja's house. Isn't it awesome? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. No. <laughs> Don't show the mic. It's not. <laughs> uh, what do you got? Um, I don't know. I want to get down there, girl. Ah, here's one. Hi, LP. How are you? We are eager to hear confirmation of your European tour. Some news about that. I hope you will visit the Netherlands and give us an amazing show. I will always give you an amazing show. Don't you worry. And about the mess in the video of recovery the mess oh did you make that on your own i did not it was really cool it was like this perfect room and then i could make that mess. if it was my mess if i was pissed and i like really did that it would really be bad i mean it would be really like you wouldn't want to see that it just wouldn't be as they made a beautiful mess it looked really cool uh what else we got um let's go uh lp i know you're a prolific lyric writer which authors and genres inspire you in your creative process? Peace, bear, hi bear. Um, gosh, so many, you know, like people like uh, like Leonard Cohen, you know, like I say, like Leonard Cohen, like kind of, uh, you know, writing up until the bitter end, you know, um, he inspires me a lot. Uh, I feel like I'm uh, always uh, just like, I just want people to put out music, you know, like keep doing it. And, and, and that's what I try to do. Um, so yeah, there you go. What else we got? A little question for you. Can you explain the final door scene? Is it something that actually happens sometimes or even once? I've walked out a few doors. Yes, it's true. I do. I use the door. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm messing with you. Uh, if there's time for you to break up and if you're okay to talk about it, well, ah, do you think that, uh, uh oh. Okay, the thing is happening again. Uh, I, sorry, Jude, I can't, like, it's just not responding. I can't go back. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So when are you touring in Sydney? Uh, I'm sorry about the last question. Onward, I'm touring in Sydney. I hope soon. The European tour, I don't know when, uh, but that'll be in spring, I think. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um, what's been the best part of your day today? Oh, oh, God. It was a tough day. But uh, the best part of the day was having breakfast with Lauren this morning, probably. Uh, oh, what we got? You're touring in Canada. Oh, I'm going to be in Canada soon. I'm, uh, in the North American tour, I'll be in Canada. So, um, that's in, where is that? Montreal. No Toronto. November, uh, I mean, sorry, end of uh, uh, February. February. Yeah. I'm in Nashville. Very excited to see you in Nashville. I'm excited in for you in Atlanta, Nashville. In uh, Orlando, in Boston. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. We're going real time, man. Are people, you guys, European people are up late, huh? They miss you from Cancun. Hello. Oh, hi from Cancun. I got to go down there soon for a wedding. Um, let me see. What else we got? Uh, are you coming to come to St. Louis? I want to go to St. Louis for sure. Uh, I know I love St. Louis. I had some shows back in the day there, and they were very, 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 very cool. Uh, like St. Louis is uh, a real music town. I think. You know? uh, do you believe in roommates? Oh, so much. <laughs> I hate roommates. I roommates. Uh, if you're, if we're roommates, I, I don't, I, I vow never to have anyone under my roof again that I'm not having sex with. I mean, you know, I mean, on a permanent basis. Uh, soulmates, I do believe in soulmates, but you know, soulmates are scary because I read this thing where soulmates, um, everyone thinks you're supposed to be with your soulmate forever, but sometimes your soulmate's supposed to go away. Who 
gonna sit here. Okay. Hi. There's too much going on behind me. I can't. I'm concentrating. Okay. What else we got? Um. I don't know if my sister just made music. Can't wait to see you my in concerts, Vancouver. Waiting. Me too. What's that? Cynthia's two-year-old is waiting. Oh hi. Hi, Cynthia. 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 Hi, Cynthia's little two-year-old. Boo-boo. Madeline's birthday. Can you wish her happy birthday? Madeline, happy birthday, babies. <laughs> what else we got? Um, oh. Would you like to perform in Georgia? Not the state. Not the state. <laughs> of course. Georgia sounds fucking dope. Let's see. Um, I'm sorry this is so like kind of like I, I, I would like to get deeper with you guys, but it's it's moving very fast. Again, oh my god, I discovered your music. Love your sounds. Such a talented delight. Thank you. You're a delight. Um, uh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Oh, I, I'm reading these, but they're just flying by. Any questions? Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> make a pit stop in Maine. Yeah, man. I'll go, go have a lobster. Will you ever come to Palermo and make a super Sicilian show for us? By the way, you look great in orange. I do. I, am I wearing orange? Oh, orange. From the yeah. <laughs> From the, uh, hey, thanks. <laughs> orange is fucking great, isn't it? Uh, I don't ever do orange, so I felt like doing something I never did before. All right. Well, what else we got? Uh, come to Maine. We love Boston, but Maine is better. Maine is <laughs> fucking sick. I have to say, I've like um. In Boston. I played there a long time ago, and um, Ray Lamontine was playing a much better show across the street at the time when he was blowing up, and I remember being sad that I had to miss his show to play my own show. So great to see you alive. Where are you? <laughs> I'm in LA right now. I know, I'm alive. Uh, I'm in LA right now, but uh, I'm leaving uh, for Europe on Tuesday for some promo for the new album. How do you start making songs without the knowledge? I have melodies and lyrics in my head, but no way to make it. Melodies and lyrics. Hmm. Well, um, I think, you know, it's sometimes maybe you can find someone that like could start a beat, you know, like beats are always good. They get me going. I like sometimes there's sometimes when I'm, I, I just like have nothing and I'm just like, I think I'm going to just try to get a, a beat going. So it like it will steer the direction of, of what type of song it is. And then maybe you could just like, you know, blow your lyrics or on the top. That's always nice. Do you have a routine in the morning? Well, that's so weird. I thought there was someone in the window. I was like, <gasps> Hey, what's up? Sorry, I lost you. Um, I was talking about what, I, how I like my coffee, and I'm hoping that you guys heard me say I like Oatly brand oat milk. It's really good. You should try it. Oat milk coffee. It's like, it's really thick and awesome. What do we got? Semi, semi a sign. Morning that's routine. It. That's it. Oh, scratching yeah, Orson's butt. <laughs> scratching Orson's butt. Having coffee. Sitting outside and chilling. Uh, who decides the outfit for the video? Uh, me and uh, my stylist, Paola, um, we like kind of just talk about what we um, think is uh, the vibe, you know? And um, and so, yeah, I did, I was, <laughs> Paola's calling, that's crazy. Um, so we like, um, we just like, uh, you know, just, uh, I'm back. Here you can <laughs> it'll start showing right. how many people are. Okay, so um, what else can I tell you? Uh, thank you for telling me my awesomeness was crashing the video. That's very awesome of you to say. And uh, I love you guys. Uh, give me a question. Okay, come, come to Dublin. Dublin, dude. My show, Look. my show at Dublin last time was so dope. My Mayan, Mayan, how you doing, girl? You crying? Don't cry. Do you make uh, more videos for your new songs? I will. I will. Yeah, I can't wait to see you in the Baltics for the third time. I can't wait either. Traveling over 1,200 miles to hey, see you thanks, in Toronto. Hey, thanks, Kaylin. You're sweet. Um, what's that? Traveling over 1,200 miles to see you in Toronto. Canada. Oh, shit. Please say hi to my girls, Avery and Emma. Oh, okay. Hey, hi, Avery. Hi, Emma. How you doing? Can't wait to see your, uh, is it your mom? Yeah. <laughs> your girls? All right. Can't y'all see you in Toronto, baby. Uh, well, was it difficult? I did it to take some prep time to jump in this role for the video and conjure up these intense emotions again. Uh, it was, it was a little bit, I, I was actually crying in the video. Uh, I, you know, I, I tried, uh, on purpose to, um, to not, to feel like I felt, you know, like I, I don't act, but I was trying to, um, really conjure up that feeling because it was interesting to me just as a, um, an artistic exercise. Um, I'm not, I, I enjoyed it, it and I didn't want it to seem fake and, and it feels so weird, you know, like, 
crying on command, but I do feel like um, sometimes writing a song about a painful experience is like crying on command. You you have to, um, I get very in that place when I'm writing, you know, like I'll, I'll relive that shit all again. So it was cool. Will there be a sequel to the recovery video plot for another song for the new album? Ooh, so I don't cool. know. That's a, I, listen, I'm not giving you any credit, but that's a good idea. <laughs> you bastard. Next time I'll deny come, it. This never happened. <laughs> next time you come to the Netherlands, you can go horseback riding with me if you want. Really? It's just a bit to the east. That sounds fun. I, I just, this is going to, this sounds all shades of wrong, but I just pictured us like bareback in it uh, along the beach or something <laughs> like hair, slow motion, <laughs> waving. Amazing. Where do all the cool musicians hang out in LA? <laughs> I'm a crew girl. Um, I don't got. I mean, I don't know. I I think uh, I think you know. I think we're all a bunch of. Um, I speak for myself, but we're all a bunch of alcoholics. So we all go to bars and things like that. Uh, you can ask Lauren. Lauren hangs with all the cool musicians in LA. She is like the coolest. I just kind of run around like being like, I'm Lauren Beyonce. Hey. Will you do a video for Dreamer? Oh, definitely. I can't wait to do that video. I never, I haven't thought about it yet, but that's going to be, that'll be fun. I'm going to need a budget. Okay. Like a good, like a straight up big budget for that one. I want Tom Cruise in it. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, if he wants to be in it, but I don't have any money. Are you safe from the fires? Yes, I am. Uh, many friends are displaced and that's very sad. And if you guys want to donate, you can. There's, um, there's lots of different ones that you can uh, look up online and all that stuff. I should have one. Can I give Can I give them one if they want to do it? Do you a have a link? One? Uh, yeah, one of the yeah. Yeah, we'll find one. We can post, post it on Facebook. We'll post it on Facebook. Um, can you do a benefit show for the fire? Um, you know, I, I'm thinking about it, but um, I don't know if I don't know when. We'll see. I'm not sure. Could you write another song for Melen Farmer? <laughs> it was great. <laughs> there is another song uh, uh, that I wrote um, on that record. I don't know if you know that with her. Um, uh, Deslanes or something like that. I think that's a, it's a French title. I don't know. I just know it was called Neon in English. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I did write a song with her. And I would write with her anytime. She's incredible. Uh, when can we see you again in Paris? Mm. Soon, December, actually, yeah. I mean, I'll be walking promo. the streets of Paris, stuff for promo. But if you see someone that looks sort of like me, <laughs> it's probably me. Um, okay. I can't wait to see what you created with Morrissey. Yeah, it's a cover. I just did. It's almost like I'm singing back up for him, um, but it's cool. And uh, it's a hint. It, it was a cover I already did. He didn't know I had covered this song. But um, but yeah, I think we sound good together. It's a, it's a beautiful record. He's quite knowledgeable about um, music. He's like one of those audiophile people that just knows like the hidden gems of like every big artist and even artists that nobody knows about. So it's kind of really really cool um, hearing his uh, you know uh, musical um, knowledge and just like like listening to this record. It, it, like it, it it was very inspiring. From Savannah, my eight-year-old autistic son heard you're lost on you and got upset that you can whistle so well. <laughs> He's upset. <laughs> I bet he can do it. I, that's like, I was around eight when I learned how to do the, uh, the <laughs> um, it was really weird. I was in the back of the car going to my grandfather's house and all of a sudden I was just like, what? And then I just started going with it. That's what happens, man. Uh, I you, bet he can do it. Are you excited to go on the U.S. tour? Oh, of course. Yeah, I'm always like, I'm always like scared, you know, um, my own country scares me. It's scary. It's a scary country. But um, yeah, I, uh, I love it. You know, um, it just always reminds me like I just have such a good time in the States um, on tour. And, um, it, you know, it's wild because it's like, uh, this country is so vast, you know, you think you um, know it just because you lived in New York City or lived in LA, you don't know shit. There's like so many different vibes going on and it's really, it's really beautiful to see. And, uh, and it, you know, it's like anything else, like all we get to see is all the government bullshit, you know, all day long, but there's a lot of beautiful people in this country. You know, there's people that are, have different views and things I don't agree with, but there's a lot of beauty and a lot of decency. And uh, I get to see that, which is cool. 
Uh, how old were you when you announced you were a lesbian and was that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> everyone, yeah, Amory, look up, come on. We're at a, we were at a wedding, I was 10. No, I don't, yeah, honestly, like, uh, 20 ish, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's all a blur, but I think like, I, how about when I announced I was a lesbian to myself? <laughs> you know, it's like, I remember like getting high when I was like 15 and being like, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay. You're gay. You're like, just like voice in my head. And then I was like, oh God, oh. <clears throat> you know, like, like coughing out, like, don't get high if you're not out to yourself. And then, and then it took a few years, you know, to like kind of really be like, well, it's not going away. It's staying. Damn it. <laughs> um, that's the biggest thing. Coming out to yourself is the biggest challenge, I think, you know. The next question. Are you going to bring Orson to Mexico? Oh, well, he doesn't have a passport, so probably not. <laughs> He's like, no. Uh, what is the symbolic meaning behind your chest piece? <laughs> From Persephone. Persephone, the jazz piece. Um, well, it's kind of me becoming comfortable. I, I always had this thing where like people, you know, when like things would go wrong in my career or whatever, you know, like I've been, I've been dropped like eight times from labels, you know, like all this stuff has gone like bad. But I, you know, great friends of mine, mentors, whatever, would be like, you know, it's about the, the journey, you know, and I'd be like, shh, 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 go say. I don't want to hear it. Um, it just, you know, I, cause I wanted what I wanted then and there, you know? And, uh, uh, but then I think this piece came with, uh, accepting that it really is a great thing to have a journey because, you know, when you get to the place that you want, you know, in the area of the place you want, you can then kind of feel like, you know, maybe you earned it or maybe you, and, or you know, what could have gone wrong and what could have been, you know, how you may have missed it, you know, or like, and all the, you know, the compassion and empathy you could have for other people trying to do things in their life, no matter what it is. So this, this thing, it, you know, had a lot of like depth for me and uh, I had wanted one, the ship on my arm. And then I was like, I was on tour and I was looking through at prison tattoos. <laughs> it's in a great place. And uh, I was like, uh, I saw like a dude with a chest tattoo of a ship. And I was like, oh, ship. I mean, oh shit. I, I fucking... I'm going to put it on my chest. <laughs> and it was the best decision I ever made. Um, not really. It was really, really fucking painful. But uh, but I love it, so it's cool. Will you make an opera record? Will I make an opera record? I don't think... I think um, opera people would be, like, absolutely disgusted <laughs> if I made an opera record. I'd rather do like kind of like my makeshift opera stuff in my in my rock music, but uh but you never know. I mean I, I would love to um do a duet with like an opera an opera star someday. That would be fucking cool. I think. Okay. Last question. What was the hardest song you've ever written? Oh God. Oh. Hmm. Uh I don't know, but I feel like um, it wasn't hard. It was actually really fun. But Other People, I felt like, was a song that um, I knew. Um, I knew that song was, I knew that concept was really cool. And it was really difficult for me to, um, it's very difficult for me to say it. I had to wait, like literally, I had to wait 10 months to like write it because I knew I wasn't in the place. I knew I was still pissed off. You know, like I knew I still had, I wanted the song to come off as not hateful, as kind of like, and also not that kind of thing where like, you fucked up, man, look what you lost, look at the shit you lost, <laughs> you know, like I had to make sure it didn't seem too much like that, I wanted it to seem, um, you know, to like, you know, to show that I was hurt, but that, you know, hey, you know, you did fuck up a little bit, like, you know, like, go go get what you need, girl, you know, like, I, I wanted it to be the right balance, and I, and I feel like I... I got it, so, but it took a lot of, uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> a little landscaping during this, because we, we need other fucking distractions. Um, yeah, but anyway, I think that one was like, it wasn't difficult, it was delicate. Delicate. I gotta go. <laughs> she was just like, get the fuck out of my house. I gotta go. Boop. All right, I love you guys. 
I'll see you. All right. Mm -hmm. we'll another one Thank you very much. See ya. Jose. Jose, can you see? Hi. What's your favorite hobby when you're not working? 